The Silent Hill games have been a mixed bag throughout the years, with the most recent mainline titles such as Downpour and Homecoming seemingly having lost any semblance of the essence that made the franchise such a beloved survival horror masterpiece. With Silent Hill 2 being largely held as the finest in the series, and it is because of this high regard that many fans, including myself, were understandably cautiously optimistic about it being remade. However, I can without a doubt say, and highlight all the reasons why I feel that the team at Old Bluebird has absolutely knocked it out of the park with this one. Expanding on the genre-defining source material and bringing it to a modern age. As you set out into the world, you can immediately see in vivid detail how many things have stayed the same from the original and have been expanded upon in the town of Silent Hill. With the graphics looking absolutely stunning as you make your way through the dense fog into this seemingly ordinary, quiet Midwestern town. However, with not a single person in sight, furniture being knocked over, front doors left ajar, and random vehicles just smashed into buildings and telephone poles, you are given the feeling that something is very wrong here. Mainly after seeing those giant sinkholes destroying certain streets, yeah, that would make anyone say, uh, what the absolute- The atmosphere here is spot on, Silent Hill greatness, as you make your way through this dread-inducing town. And while horror is of course subjective for everyone, what I find truly scary is the psychological terror that is so pronounced in this game, as it builds in the slow realization that you are not alone in that dark room or on that empty street, with the disembodied whispers and indistinguishable sounds slowly scraping towards you. All while at the same time, you are confronted with some truly bizarre and out of place imagery that feels like something straight out of Twin Peaks or Blue Velvet. The Bluebird team did a masterful job at taking the mind-bending horror that Konami created all the way back in 2001 and brought it to life. Bluebird Team's version of The Other World is also spot on how I imagined it as a kid. Shrouded in darkness as the famous rust corrupts the environment, complemented by dilapidated furniture and cages with bodies and other oddities straight out of a nightmare, sprinkled so generously throughout. The Other World in particular displays the masterful way that Bluebird used lighting and or the absence of it, utilizing darkness to create shadows and Doorways where the more you look, the more you may or may not see a monster hiding just out of sight. With the random TV dimly lighting a room as something or someone is sitting in a chair, just screams unease and made me, you know, honestly note my way right out of there more than once. However, the most memorable part for me about the environments is the sound, or the lack thereof. With ambient noises and music by the great Akira Yamaoka, Bluebird sound department blew me away with all the subtle screams and screeches by random people and monsters while metal scrapes and distant doors open and close. The enemies sound absolutely fantastic as they gag and hiss and at times seem to eagerly giggle as they lurch towards you. The mannequin monsters in particular have a spider-like quality, screeching and crunching as they sporadically and aggressively run towards you, especially as you progress. The enemies are also fairly intelligent hiding from you around walls and under furniture waiting to ambush, and able to dodge and hobble their way out of your attacks. The puzzles are also very satisfying, with none of them feeling impossible, from, you know, the basic combination locks where you have to look for clues, to full-on multi-part puzzles. Now let's talk about the combat, because going into this, this was definitely one of my biggest concerns, but I've got to say, even though it isn't flawless, it is still superb. The weighty feeling that you experience while swinging your first weapon, a wooden plank with nails, into the lion figure as it lurches towards you feels so satisfying, especially as you give the monster a stomp or two just to make sure it ain't getting back up, and maybe in taking out some frustration after having to use two health drinks during the scuffle and possibly yelling out in desperation and terror, oh shit, I am so, but of course, not that I would ever do that personally, I mean come on. With combat feeling as modern and consistent as games such as the Resident Evil 4 remake and The Last of Us 2, you'll definitely feel at home. The gunplay is also done very well, feeling natural with solid recoil and weapon sway. Not to say that the combat doesn't have its flaws, it certainly does, especially when fighting multiple enemies at once with your melee weapon, it can get a bit clunky. But I feel that the clunkiness only adds to the unskilled and out of character violence that Portal James is thrust into. This isn't Chris Redfield or a battle-hardened, revenge-filled Ellie here. Also, I enjoy the fact that you don't get to upgrade your weapons here. As nice as this feature is in some games, the simplicity of not having to tinker and craft is ironically refreshing. The voice acting is another huge standout being done very well, with all the new actors bringing a lot of substance to all the characters they portray. 
With actor Luke Roberts voicing James, Roberts did such a good job in bringing the main character to life in a way that makes James even more likable and sympathetic as he has ever been. All in all, the original Silent Hill 2 will always be a game that is revered and loved by fans all over the world for its genre-defining storytelling, character development, and genuine horror that, like its peer Resident Evil, has inspired every survival horror game that has come after, but none had ever quite matched. I feel that it will be remembered for being a very well done and super enjoyable effort in bringing Silent Hill into the modern space, allowing a new generation of fans to grow, and being a game that hits on all the right notes, all while being fun as hell. But what do you guys think? Is this a game that you've already been playing through since it came out? Are you interested in this game? Or are you just mad that they even decided to remake this in the first place? Let me know that and everything else in the comments below. And why don't you go ahead and pick up that old lead pipe and go ahead and just smash and smash and smash the like and subscribe button. It would always help out the channel a lot. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day and I'll see you on the next video.